point that made you turn turn this around? The point that you decided you wanted this change? Yeah. So it's um it's funny. I I I'm a ten year cancer survivor. I actually go oh, wow almost almost twelve years it goes by so fast. And um, I had stage three breast cancer in two thousand and eight. And um, at the time I was 34 turning 35 and I didn't have a mastectomy even though that would have given me like the greatest, you know, advantage to not having a recurrence because I thought that I, you know, I might want kids. I wasn't ready to like, you know, when you're, when you're 34, you're not you're really ready to like just cut off your boobs, even, even if it gives you, you know, a chance of not ever getting cancer again. Cause I didn't know what I was in for. Um, and I waited until I hit my 10 year cancer anniversary, um, to really, you know, when I was back in California, California has, you know, an amazing law that basically says, Hey, insurance companies, if a woman has beaten cancer and wants a mastectomy, you've got to pay for it. Uh, which thank God, thank God for that. Um, so I found a surgeon. I had a mastectomy with reconstruction last year. Um, I was still pretty overweight. I was like, hmm, I think I must have been 194 or 196. But again, I just, I had this belief that this is the size that I've been for the last 20 years and it's the size that I'm always going to be. And the reality was it actually wasn't. Um, I was putting on about 10 pounds, you know, every five or six years for like the last 20 years. Like the lowest I can ever remember weighing was like maybe 165 when I was in high school. And I had sort of slowly put on 10 pounds like every five or 10 years. So my weight had been creeping up. I actually, even though I could still wear the same pants, there were some pants that I couldn't fit into anymore. And I, I kind of talked my brain into thinking that I was still the same size because the number on the label was the same. And so, um, and I, you know, I would, I would catch myself in a mirror and be disappointed and brush it off. But I went back for a reconstruction because, um, my surgery didn't, it didn't heal evenly because I guess radiated skin doesn't stretch as much as non-radiated skin. So I went in for a correction and I was, uh, standing on the scales that they have in doctor's office with the weights. And the nurse uh, moved three 50 pound weights over. She moved the little weight literally all the way to 200. And I was like, she's, she's still moving that weight. She's not, she's not stopping. She's not stopping. She got all the way to the end. It still wasn't balanced. And then she moved the weight back to the beginning and picked up a 50 pound weight and moved. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And then she moved the other little weight out four more pounds. And I just remember staring at that scale and thinking, I know, I know that specifically for me, because, you know, I had triple negative breast cancer, which they don't know what causes it, right? They don't know if it's like, it could be hair dye. We have no, we have no idea. It wasn't, it wasn't estrogen, progesterone or Herceptin positive or, um, HER2 positive. Um, but I was like, I know that maintaining a healthy body weight is, you know, it's, it's something that you can do to avoid a recurrence. And I was having major surgery to re-architect my body, but I wasn't doing the one thing that, you know, I could really do to move that needle. Um, and I, I think it just, it just hit me that I had to do something and I didn't, I didn't know what was possible. I thought like, maybe I'll just lose 20 pounds. Um, and when I saw this doctor who is, she specializes in weight loss and she told me, you know, meal replacement shake. I, I thought of Oprah and OptiFast and I was like, really? Like that's where, that's the only thing that's going to help me now. And she framed it, I, I, I'm so thankful for her because she framed it like, look, this is gonna be a long journey. You should not try to lose more than one to two pounds a week. It, 
it'll be too hard, it'll set you up for failure, and you know it's not gonna be healthy for your body. Your body will do the best when you track slow progress over time. And when I sat in her office, she was just so, she was so confident. She was like, yeah, you, you totally could. And I, I think the thing that helped me make it possible was I just believed her. Like I was like, huh, this is something that's never occurred to me before that, I mean, and then, but the funniest thing, Patty, is that like, I've seen your pictures and like, you're like a spin instructor. And yet nothing in my brain was like, if Patty could do it, I could do it. Like, it's not, you know, like, it's just like, it's just slow change over time, like doing the reps, doing it over time. And I, you know, it, and then when you look at, when you look at anything that's like weight loss inspiration on Instagram, you see people who have lost not just 20 pounds, not just 50 pounds, 100 pounds, 200 pounds, you know, and you start to think, oh, I don't, I don't have some special metabolism that is resistant to burning extra fat when I eat healthy and, you know, I didn't even, I didn't even spend two hours a day on a Peloton. You know, I, I, I worked out like twice a week at the gym and then I would maybe like go for a walk on a Saturday or Sunday with my nephew. Um, but that was, that was really it was that, that moment when I was in a doctor's office doing something major, you know, to, to improve my health when I just realized I, I wasn't doing the most major thing that I could do. And I, I had so many hangups. I was like, diets don't work. I'm just subscribing to some artificial you know, standard of society that is imposed on women to control us. Like, but I, it was all just, I think covering up, you know, a real need for self care, a real need for, for taking care of myself and giving myself what I needed to live a long and healthy life. But yeah kind of a long-winded answer but <laughs> that was the moment no it, it, it's amazing it's it's just amazing 